Now, with this bag, before I dig into it and, and talk about what's inside it, I wanted to show you, uh, White Rabbit had the question in the beginning, and I wanted to go through the specs of this bag. Uh, and this is a, like I said, this is a Maxpedition bag that I've had for about seven years now. Um, so I didn't buy this new. If I was putting this together right now and buying a new bag, I don't think I would go for, for what I'm using this for, I don't think I would go with this gear slinger. Uh, I do like the sling style packs. Uh, but this, you know, right now um, on their website, it says you buy one, get one free, uh, which they're 168 $169, so, you know, about 80 bucks a piece is what you're looking at. You can get decent bags for a lot cheaper than that. Now, I would be careful about that, uh, but uh, at any rate, uh, Maxpedition, really, really quality bag. Like I said, I've had this, um, this bag right here for seven years, and the only thing that has happened to it is the zipper pull fell off. Not the zipper itself, but the zipper pull fell off, so I had to make a fashion my own right there. Uh, but this bag, let me go through some of the specs right here. It is, let's see, uh, internal loop for CCW. It's got a lot of pictures right here. I'll show you that in a second. Uh, YKK zipper closures, th those things are fantastic. Uh, my 511 has those YKKs as well. Uh, side and Y compression strap. This compression strap right here is actually does a really good job. You wouldn't think it would do uh, all that much, but as far as securing that pack to you, it does a really good job. Um, as far as the dimensions, it's uh, 14 inches high. So White Rabbit was asking about that. 10.5 uh, in length and 6.5 in width. So it's not huge. It's not a huge bag, but it does have a lot of compartments, a lot of uh, really cool stuff in there. Let me show you a couple of the, the slides on here that they've got. This is like the first aid stuff that they put in that pouch. I've got um, my, I've got a couple of different ideas for that. Uh, they got the stuff on the front. You've got the pouches inside, just a whole lot of different things that you can do. You've got the, the, you can put your firearm on the back right here, although that would be a little bit uncomfortable. Uh, and also the concealed carry right there inside the pocket that you can carry some stuff. So it's got a lot of different functionality, but the size is what kind of gets me. And like I said, if I was buying one right now, I'd probably go something along the size of this Sitka gear slinger, which is, again, it's, I, and I don't know why the larger bag is cheaper <laughs> than the smaller bag. Um, but, uh, you know, that's that's what it is. So um, the dimensions on this one, uh, let me go to dimensions here, is 18 inches high. So it's, it's a taller bag. It's the same width, and it's 15 liters, where I believe the other one was 11.5. Yeah, 11.5 liters. So this is 15 liters. It's going to offer uh, a little bit more flexibility um, as far as this, this would make a decent get home bag, I think. Uh, and this, something this size might be um, on my, my wish list, not a Maxpedition. I've already got one of those and they're fantastic, but uh, a little bit uh, expensive. What I like about this Sitka is it does have that clamshell design as well. So you can open it up all the way, fold it out, and you can get to that stuff in there. It's a pretty cool looking bag. Uh, but they do have, you know, you, you look on Amazon and you can get all sorts of different types of bags. I mean, they're, uh, it really depends on your situation, your environment, uh, what type of bag. You know, you, it's, it, being the gray man is always important. Um, so, you know, you need to fit into your environment. Out here, uh, this, this bag that I've got, this Maxpedition, isn't such a big deal, but it's not necessarily the gray man either uh, because uh, it is that tactical type bag. Uh, but there are just a lot of options. This one right here I was looking at earlier, I kind of like this, the the way this one looks. It's sort of a, uh, it, it's not tactical at all, tactical at all uh, but it is uh, 16 and a half inches high. Um, got a lot of, you know, versatility. Not quite as many pouches and stuff as the Maxpedition does, but it's got a lot of things that, that you could do. And this, you know, for 30 bucks, like I said, it's, uh, I don't know about the quality. I'd have to look at some of these reviews on all of these. But there's just a lot of options. And uh, it doesn't have to be that super, super expensive uh, bag. I think uh, who is uh, 3V Gear also makes some tactical type bags that are pretty decent quality. I've had one in the past. Uh, and they're pretty heavy duty. They're good quality. 
but they're you know half the price of a Maxpedition. Um, at any rate, uh, just uh, you know, it's a very cool bag. But there are some other options, and as we dig through this, you'll see what I was ta- what I'm talking about. Uh, and, you know, kind of you can decide at that point, you know, okay, I'm going to need, you know, something a little bit bigger for this or for that. So uh, Batshit Crazy in the chat said 170 bucks better be awesome. Yeah, well, that's 170 bucks for two, so it's 80 bucks. Uh, but for the size of this thing, that um, is, you know, let me move my mic here so you guys can hear me. Um, it is, for the size of this thing, being about 14 inches tall, it's not real big, so... Um, it is, you know, sort of, I I don't know that, I I mean, it's very good quality, so I don't want to make it sound like it's overpriced, but I think there are things that you could better spend your money on, I suppose. Uh, let me, um, let me stand up here real quick so I can actually dig, dig into the sucker. Got to move my mic. So what we'll do is we'll go through what I put in this bag right here and I've got my trauma kit and this I had on my bug out bag and I'm debating right now uh, how I'm going to whether I'm going to keep this on my bug out bag or do something different on my bug out bag I need two trauma kits anyway I want one on that bag and I want one um, that I carry every day so this one would go um, straight on this outside right here and it would fit pretty well uh, and not make it too you know awkward or too heavy or anything Um, but I could also on the inside where I've got, like in that picture I showed, uh, let me pull off these side compression straps in that picture. I showed they've got the first aid stuff in here. So I could fill this with trauma gear, uh, and that would say be that, that place on front and it wouldn't look so, you know, as tactical, I suppose. I've got this patch on here, just morale patch, rub some dirt on it. I don't know if that's going to stay on there or not. I got that from a friend. Um, But at any rate, so uh, one way or another, whether it's this pouch or whether it's inside here, uh, the trauma stuff is going to be put in this because that, like I said in the beginning, this is something that I want to be able to take to and from my truck. If I'm going to the range or wherever, it's something that I know I'm always going to have with me. It's something that if I'm sitting here watching TV or something, I can go through this stuff, check expir- expirations, make sure I've got all the stuff I need in it, uh, all that. So um, that is definitely one thing that is going to be in this pack. That is not going to change. Uh, one other thing is I go through this stuff. There are some things. This is just like when I did my bug out bag video. I go through all the stuff that I'm thinking about. And at, as time goes on, it's going to change. So what I'll do is go through this stuff today, get your guys' thoughts and ideas and everything. And then, um, you know, as I as I kind of fill this out and figure out exactly what I'm going to do, then I'll do a, a video later on. A, a video later on may actually mean <laughs> getting a whole new bag as well. Because like I said, uh, this one at 11.5 liters really, uh, you know, you really got to pay attention to what you put in there. Uh, at any rate, so on the outside here, I've got a pen and a Sharpie uh, just to, you know, just to have those readily available. Uh, like I said, I can put this pouch on the outside here inside this first first pouch right here. I've got some basic first aid stuff, and this is just Band-Aid, um, a, a large Band-Aid, some medications, uh, Imodium Advil, some paper towel tablets, uh, those things that, you know, you would need you know, in the, the minor stuff that you would need, not any sort of trauma stuff, but if you needed a band aid, if you got a scratch um, or anything like that, there's in a little, pa- a little packet of insect repellent in here, uh, which I may actually just get a, one of those tubes and put it in here as well. So that's just a, some basic first aid stuff. And this is also in a waterproof bag too, because I don't want this stuff to get uh, wet at all. So that's all I have in that little pouch right there uh, in here. I've got my water filter, and this is the Hydro Blue, uh, or yeah, Hydro Blue water filter. Basically, the exact same thing as a Sawyer Mini. Uh, it it filters the same. Everything is exactly the same uh, with this. Uh, the one thing I do, and I haven't tested it yet, but the water bottles I have in here, I want to make sure that they do fit. Uh, this end right here that is one of the things that i've heard about the hydro blue is it doesn't get a a real good seal on it sometimes so i need to check that out Uh, i've also got uh, this knife right here 
uh, this Kershaw. I was going to put this Gerber in here, this fixed blade knife, but being that in Colorado, it's illegal to have anything 3.5 inches or longer concealed, I decided to go with this one because it's about three inches long. So, uh, and it's a folding knife. I may get rid of this case and just have this in here by itself. I, I haven't decided yet, but for now, I didn't want to lose the case, so I just stuck it in here. Uh, I've also got my multi-tool. Uh, this Gerber multi-tool is not the most expensive, not the greatest tool, but um, I've had this thing for five years and it hasn't failed me yet. So I love this thing. I uh, want to make sure that goes with me all the time as well. And then let me put that back in there. Then I've got a flashlight, uh, just, your, uh, just a typical flashlight. Uh, it's got three different modes on it. If I can get it to go, there we go, the flashing. Uh, so just a, a pretty good flashlight. This takes three triple A's, uh, so it'll last a little while. Not the greatest. I may upgrade to something rechargeable because I have that option in here as well. Uh, and back here, uh, I had those the pen and stuff on the front, so I've got a waterproof notepad in case I need, need to leave notes or anything like that. I uh, don't think I have anything else in that pocket. So that's that right there. Uh, again, like I said, what I use that pocket for may change. It may turn into a that trauma pocket. Uh, on the side here too, I've got my cat tourniquet, which is on. It, I'll keep on the outside of the bag. Uh, this top part right here, uh, it's got this bungee strap right here, which is kind of cool. Um, I had thought about taking this off and replacing it with paracord, uh, but I think I I like the elastic. Um, ability of this thing and you can pull it out and you can adjust it and everything you could get a, a rain poncho you could get a, a small jacket something like that in here on that picture they showed a, a flashlight in there in here behind this thing i don't know about all that uh, but you can you know attach something to the outside of the pack right here if you needed to depending on the situation so that's kind of cool a lot of velcro and a lot of molly all over this pack which is uh, pretty neat, even on the sides, and uh, just very cool. Um, so in this top pocket right here, let me see. I'll pull it open this way, see if you guys can see it. I've got this bandana. Uh, this was in my bug out bag. This is going to be in this bag now because I've got a schmog coming that is going to be in my bug out bag. Uh, a headlamp just to have another, uh, you know, light. Uh, some some ace wrap and some uh, some gloves and stuff. In here, I've got water purification tablets, another waterproof bag. Uh, so, And this actually probably should go with my water filter, so I know uh, exactly where both of those are. Uh, but I will change that out later. Uh, in here, that's it for this pocket. This pocket also has, uh, you know, pull all this stuff out, these uh, straps where you can actually tuck some stuff in there and organize it a little bit better too, so... Uh, let me go ahead and close that up. And then on the inside, what do I have in here? Open this up all the way. And see, this is where I like that clamshell design because this is a little bit tougher to actually get in here uh, and look at some stuff. Let me put this over here. Uh, but this isn't, it isn't bad at all. Now you can see I have a lot of room in here. I do have two water bottles in here and uh, I, <laughs> I'm a little bit hesitant about these water bottles because of if, if any pressure gets on this, one of these busting open. Uh, so I may just go ahead and get a, an actual canteen, uh, a stainless steel water bottle. I may only have one of these in here as well because, like I said, space is sort of limited in this. So having two water bottles in here basically takes up all this room. And I want to be able to throw a pair of pants, a, a shirt, something in here, clothes in here if I need to, uh, you know, go that route. Uh, this is also, you know, you, uh, uh, you've got a pouch over here. Uh, over here, I've got my solar charger. And this, let me hold off on that. This charger uh, is a huge, I can't remember how many milliamp hours right now. I want to say 27,000. It's huge. Uh, and you can tell it's it's real thick, but it's got these solar panels on it, which make it nice and convenient for recharging 
uh, on the go. And these actually do work pretty well. I've tested these out. I, I've done a video on this in the past. Um, tested these out, and this thing works really well. Uh, and the reason, you know, you can get all sorts of smaller versions of these. Uh, it's got a little light on it too as well. Um, you can get smaller versions of these. But the reason I like this one, I don't remember how to turn on the light. <laughs> The reason I like this one is because it's huge. So I don't have to worry about if it's been sitting there for a while, how much it has drained. It's got so much juice in it that I don't have to worry about it uh, for, you know, it, say I forget about it for three months. I don't have to worry about it being dead. So um, I do like that part of the, uh, th that's why I like this larger one. It's heavier, it's bigger, it's bulkier, uh, but I do like it. Now, there are different options. It's really up to you. Uh, along with that, you want to make sure and have uh, the cords for whatever you're charging. So mainly it's just going to be cell phone. But I've got in here, I've got my phone cord. Uh, and I've also got a, a type C cord right here uh, for other stuff. Now, if I do get that re rechargeable flashlight, I want to make sure that I have the cords and stuff available for that as well. Uh, in here, I've got a just the food part of it. Now, these cliff bars are fantastic. I don't know uh, how this is going to hold up because these are chocolate. Um, I'll try to get to the comments here in a section. I, I, I know it's kind of, I'm, I'm pointed to the side. It's kind of hard to read the comments over there. But at any rate, I don't know how these are going to hold up. Now, these aren't like covered with chocolate. Cliff bars, they're kind of embedded in the cliff bar itself. Uh, so, We'll see uh, when it gets hot in the car. It's not like it's going to destroy them, but if I were to go eat them, uh, it could be a gooey mess. So we're, we'll just have to see with that. Other options um, include that you know the 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 ration bars or um, you know peanuts, uh, mixed mixed nuts, stuff like that that aren't going to be so affected by the heat and all that. I don't want the. I've got some of the SOS bars. I don't want to put those in here because I want it to be something I'm going to eat. I don't want these to sit in here, uh, you know, for six, eight months and then go bad uh, or a year, year and a half and then go bad. Uh, I'm going to actually eat those. So if, if I'm driving around and I don't have any snacks and I'm hungry, I'll open up my get my everyday carry, grab a snack. Just need to remember to refill that, uh, put them back in there. Uh, same with the water. Water. Uh, if I am thirsty or whatever, don't have anything, then I, I know I've got it in here. Or if we're out walking around, uh, we go somewhere or we're out hiking, I've got all this stuff right there I can use. So uh, also in here, and I'm not sure if this is going to be um, in here or not. This is, I, I've talked about this little pouch before that I made. It's a little everyday carry pouch. I talked about it in the beginning of the show too. Uh, that's got a lot of trinkets and gadgets and stuff in there. It's kind of cool to have all of this stuff in there. So this might be part of this bag as well. I've also got this little kit right here, which if we have time, I will go through in the end. I'll open this up and show you what's in here. Uh, pretty cool little kit. But it's either one of the other, one or the other, because they kind of have the same type of stuff in there. Uh, this one's got a few different things than this one. Uh, so it just depends. I'm gonna, I'll figure that out at some point. Uh, but I do like the fact that I have this all organized, this little tiny kit that's got all sorts of the, the little stuff in here. It's got a Frenzel lens. It's got some duct tape. It's got some matches. It's got a ferro rod. Uh, got some coffee packets back there. It's got some moleskin, which is super important. Uh, I've got moleskin in like 15 different places because you just never know. Uh, another thing, you know, on the, the EDC before I get to the – before I finish this, make sure your shoes, your, your feet are taken care of. That's the most important um, aspect of all of this stuff. Because if your feet are, you know, if I keep my boots in my truck. Because if your feet are toast, um, you're toast, basically. So uh, I think that's actually everything that I have in here so far. I don't remember. I don't have anything in that pocket. Uh, went through the front pocket. Went through the top pocket. Uh, the... The straps and everything, I wanted to talk about those real quick and then uh, we'll get done with this. But I do like the sling style pack. And I do like this strap right here. It's kind of a, it's it's like a second strap. It's, it's vertical uh, or horizontal. 
whatever the <laughs> whatever it is. But it really, once you cinch this up, put it on, it really does snug this pack to your back. So if you're on the move, um, you got to move really quickly. You put this thing on, and it really does hug your back uh, really well. It's also got the belt strap back here, uh, which I've never used. I've never used on any of my packs. Uh, I just don't like the fact that that would be kind of a pain in the butt to if you had to take it off real quick. That would be kind of a, a pain in the butt. So, uh, White Rabbit was saying I keep wool socks, uh, wool blend socks in my my get home bag too. Yes, I have uh, a couple in my. I, I've got one pair in my in my bug bag, and I've got a pair in my truck. And I I just I. Unless I'm out camping and doing stuff, wool socks, uh, I, I just don't wear them because they are hot. <laughs> um, now, this pouch back here, it's also got some Velcro back here. You could put whatever you wanted back here. Um, I believe um, inside, let me, uh, I'll button that later. Inside, this is where they were talking about if you wanted to put a hydration bladder or something like that in here, you could. It's also got a couple loops up here. Uh, to tie some stuff. I think what I might do is actually use these, uh, put some, I need to put some jute twine or some paracord or something in here. So I may just kind of loop it around these, get about 50 feet and do something like that. So um, at any rate, that is what I have in this bag. I feel like I forgot something, but uh, I don't, I don't know at this point. Um, I probably won't know until I turn this, turn the video off and then I'll figure it out. Um, all right. So with that, I mean, I, it just kind of something, I, like I said, I had this bag laying around and I wanted to do something with, um, the stuff that I had in my truck, um, uh, and make sure that the stuff that was in there, I wasn't just leaving in there. So this gives me the option to not only if I'm, you know, going shopping somewhere with Lisa, or I'm trying to think of a situation where I'd be walking around. This gives me that the ability to have that stuff that makes me feel a little bit more comfortable, kind of like the pocket knife, the lighter and the flashlight in my pocket. Um, the things that I just, I don't feel comfortable if I don't have them with me. That's where I want to get with this bag right here. Um, I do like the size of this bag for that, that type of purpose. Uh, you see, it's trying to give you an idea about how big it is. Not the hugest bag in the world, uh, but I do like the size because it's going to be something that's convenient, something that I'm not going to, it's not going to be a, a nuisance to have to, oh man, I, I got to get my bag. I got to do this. It's, you know, kind of, yeah, I've seen women, women's purses bigger than this thing. I think this one probably is pretty comparable to Lisa's purse. So uh, but if you're talking about a get home bag, maybe you do want something that's a little bit bigger, like that Sitka Maxpedition gear slinger. I think, you know, at, at least 15 liters. And I'd love to get your guys' thoughts in the chat. Uh, you guys all know your stuff. Um, what do you think as far as a get home bag? 15 to 20 liters? That's kind of what I'm thinking with that. Um, this one, 10, 10, 11, 12 liters is perfectly fine, I think, for a get home bag. Or, I mean, for, for an everyday carry bag. But I think if you're talking a get home bag, you may need a little bit more than that. Um, and a bug out bag, we've had this conversation um, before. Um, I've talked to Into the Wilderness and White Rabbit and got a lot of feedback from everybody. And it seems like that 30, 40, 50 liter range is um, pretty good for a bug out bag. So you're talking, you know, something pretty substantial uh, as far as, you know, it's something you can put a whole lot of stuff in, something that you're not going to want to carry around with you every day. So...